Hello and welcome to the KGB hotline. This call is recorded, obviously. To continue in Russian, say DA or press 1. To continue in English, say yes or press 2. To continue in some other language, hang up and call back between the hours of 8 and 11 Moscow time on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Our menu has changed. Listen carefully to the new options. If you know the extension of your KGB handler, you can dial it at any time. If you're calling to ask us to invade your country, press 1. If you want us to hack into your government's computers, press 2. If you want us to assassinate your leader, press 3. If you want us to bribe a politician in your country, press 4. If this is Hillary Clinton to complain about those emails again, press 5. For all other inquiries, you may speak to an automated system. Press 6 or remain on the line. In a few words, describe the nature of your inquiry. I want to report an emergency. What is the nature of your emergency? The election is not going to plan. I could not understand you. The election in my country is not going well. State your country's name. United States of America. I think you said Uzbekistan. Say yes or no. No, no. State your country's name. United States of America. America. You know, the land of the free and home of the brave. No need to shout. I heard you the first time. Okay, United States of America. Has it been four years? Yes, elections are going on right now. Describe the nature of the election problem you're experiencing. Well, Donald Trump has not won yet. Our automated system cannot help with that, transferring you to an agent. Hello, is that you, Comrade John? How do you like our new automated system? Fancy, no? It was my idea. They even used my voice. Yes, Comrade General. I serve the Soviet Union. The system is great, ingenious, but we have a problem. What's wrong, Comrade John? Did your New England Patriots lose a game again and you want us to fix it? No, no, it is much worse. It's about the election. Donald Trump still has not won. By the way, you'd be surprised to know that a lot of people here like Joe Biden, a good family man he's running with his wife Kamala. Uh, no, Comrade General. Kamala Harris is not his wife. Not his wife? But uh, she's a woman in politics. Uh, how can that be? Well, she's an accomplished politician and she's his running mate as vice president. This would not happen in Russia. I will tell you that. You Americans like to create your own problems. At any rate, um, you said Donald Trump has not won yet? That's impossible. We've done everything to keep him there for at least four more years. How can that be? Well, they are still counting votes, and Joe Biden might actually win. Wait, uh, the election day is over. Why are they still counting? I have heard there are problems with arithmetic in uh, American schools, but uh, this is ridiculous even by your standards. No, no, it, it is not arithmetic. They are trying to count every vote, even those sent by mail. I do not understand. Uh, Donald Trump just needs to declare he is the winner, and that uh, should be enough. Well, he did. He tried to. But it was not enough. It is a democracy. I think America likes to leave too much to chance. Why can't he just uh, declare himself president for life? Like uh, it's done in uh, more progressive countries, uh, this would make things so much easier for him. I agree, but as I explained to you, in this country there is a long-standing tradition of voting. Plus there is the Constitution and the Electoral College. I know, I know, I do remember my KGB training. <laughs> um, anyways, we need to solve this problem. I wouldn't want to be the one to deliver bad news to Comrade Big Bear. Can we manufacture more votes? We can print them right here in Moscow uh, on the best paper. Unlikely, Comrade General. They would need to be postmarked before November 3rd. Uh, that should be no problem. 
<laughs> and they cannot come from Russia. A good point, a good point. Well, uh, simplest solutions are usually the best. Yet uh, we cannot go for the outright assassination of his opponent. Uh, the big bear strictly forbade it. Uh, he kind of likes uh, Joe Biden, uh, says he reminds him of his uncle. So what do we do? Time is of the essence. Uh, we could hack into your systems and flip a couple of states. What do you think? Tempting, but it would attract too much attention and would not be believable. Say, Comrade John, is there like a nice uh, country nearby? Well, yes. Canada is our closest neighbor. We share a border. Good, good. And uh, do they speak English? Yes, they do. Except for Quebec. Uh -huh. Excellent, excellent. Hold on, uh, John. Let me check the uh, KGB archives here. Uh huh. Population. Population of Canada. 37 million people. That is perfect. Sorry, but uh, what exactly is perfect? How does this help us? Well, it's obvious. No, it's the second oldest trick in the book. You invade Canada, you take it under your protector, declare it a part of the United States, and you add 37 million votes to Donald Trump's tally. Et voila, as they would say in Quebec. <laughs> this is unorthodox, comrade general. Thank you. That's why they pay me the big rubles. But... How can we possibly declare war on Canada? Congress would need to approve, and there is a Democratic majority, and they would never go for it. This is a scandal! You mean your president cannot even invade a neighbor? Don't they have any imperial ambitions? I'm looking at the map here. Uh, Canada has lots of land, plus uh, there are forests. Uh, this would be a good geopolitical move, not just for the votes. I'm telling you, Comrade John, this is the only way. You tell Donald Trump. Okay, but if they do not go for it, we will be out of options. John, you're never out of options. And looking at the map, it seems you have a neighbor to the south, Mexico. So as plan B, you could invade them too. Climate is nicer, plus the all-inclusive resorts. I just hope the wall you folks built over there would not slow down your ground troops. Understood. I will take the message to President Trump and his generals. Call me back, John, and uh, tell me what your president says. And uh, please uh, tell the president Russia can attack Canada from the north to help out. Uh, take care, Comrade John. You too, Comrade General. Служу Советскому Союзу. Yes, служу Советскому Союзу. Democracy.